Hey guys, today I want to show you this little AC compressor that I got here. This is portable for your house, for the garage, for mechanics in the street, alright? Mechanic that's going to come to your front of your driveway. And something great you could, you could have at your house, you know, you don't need to have that big, huge AC compressor, right? This has wheels on it, and there's a lot of specs up here. This thing is uh, 150 PSI. And it's 15 gallons. It might not be too large in the capacity of it, but it's good enough, you know. Sometimes you need to remove one or two bolts, it's gonna kick in for you guys, alright? And if you want, you can get something a little bigger than that, you know. If you can carry this thing, is like really light, you know. Like it's one hand, and I can walk around with it. Maneuver it. And it comes with this little line here, flexible line. This thing reaches almost like powerly good 20 to 25 feet and then the best part is the medical and it all comes back together and uh, it connects to 110 all right you don't need to have 220 so it connects to 110 volts you take that you plug it right in Regular electricity for your house, you don't need to modify anything to 220 volts. So that's it. Plugs right in, alright? You take it and you plug it in and flip that button and it's good to go. Only one thing is, it's loud, alright? Listen to it. It is loud, alright guys? Right now I have almost like 100 PSI in there. I already let this thing run for probably like a two minutes only. Anyways, you got a little valve here where you can let the release the uh, air from which you want to empty out the system. Then it has a valve all the way in the bottom right here, right? You can open that. That's going to drain out all the moisture, the water inside the tank, all right? And it got two gauges up here. I'll bring the camera closer and I'll show you every little bit of thing this thing has. But how did I get this? Why did I get this? I really wasn't interested in getting this. I had no urge to get this. I just got this because my friend had a problem and the problem was he was a very, very nice guy and this was his problem. So if you, if this is your problem, it's up to you. You know, you can put this, make a little casing for it, store it somewhere and that might eliminate your problem. But his problem was the day he used it, all he did was to blow air onto his radiator under the hood to take out the leaves and his problem was he was a very nice guy and he didn't want to bother the neighbors once or twice a month by doing this that was his problem he paid almost like 300 some bucks I don't know how much this thing goes for but you probably seen my video on a, a craftsman tool that which I posted earlier this week and uh, Thing is not cheap, right? This thing is not under 200 bucks, that's for sure. So I'll look into the price on the road, see what kind of free offer that I got here. So this thing I got free, it's made by Craftsman. You know, Craftsman, very well known in the industry. But anyway, let me go grab my gun. I'm gonna connect my gun to this, all right? I'll connect my impact gun to this. Alright, so I'm not going to be taking out any bolts, but I just want to show you guys. This thing is not fully powered up yet. It has a 90 PSI. And it got, it got power. So right now, it sounds like it used about 3 pounds of pressure right there. You can use this a lot, or you can connect your air ratchet, air cutter, air hammer, anything you like to this little bad boy. And if you want to get a bigger tank, it's up to you. But let's say you have a flat tire in your driveway, you pull this thing right out there, let it charge for 10 minutes, it'll be fully charged, and it's good to go. So let me bring my camera closer, and you could I'll show you all the specs that you need to see on this. Alright guys, first of all, here it is, it's made by a craftsman, and 
100 psi max that's the that would be the the pressure of the air it's a three horsepower 15 gallon air delivery 4.9 at 40 psi you know that's more than your tire your tire yeah a little bit less tire max is 45 all right and it, it works off 120 volts it says there so i was probably a little bit on and off on the single cylinder oil free so there's no oil in there you don't have to do much of a maintenance and this has been sitting around i'm gonna clean this up as you can see in there it's like a debris built around that the pipeline there but anyways i hope you can see right there and then let me remove this little guy from right here and there's a pressure regulator right there all right guys right now as you can see it's below it went down to like almost 80 psi and then you got a whole bunch of specs right here whatever you need to know guys is there right it's all there this light is not the perfect and on the opposite side you got a model number there there's the model number so everything that you probably need to see and know is there and there's a 1-800 number if you have trouble with this thing there's a 1-800 number number right there and look at the wheel guys the wheel is great all right guys so i hope you liked this video and this gave you a lot of information you know and you got the first hand look of it and also i put this thing on for you it's really loud it's not something that's not noisy it's loud but anyways if you can work with it good good for you if it's not something for you then uh, move on I'm sure there's a better ones there's silent ones but like I said I got this for free and I wasn't gonna let it go you know he would have given it to somebody else if it wasn't me but we got it guys and that's it guys thank you subscribe bye bye and I'll see you on the next one and let me release the air And that's it guys, it can empty out itself, well it's not going to empty out itself. Well I'll empty that out because I'm going to put this to the side and I'll make a good use of it at home. Alright guys, bye bye.